Welcome back to Falconry Tube with me, Joel. We're going to be going over some more equipment reviews this week, and we're going to start with the Keith Wakefield Falconry bag. Now, we use these all the time at the centre in the pest control business. Um, they're a really nice bag, guys. Uh, they're 85 quid, which I know you think, oh, it is quite expensive, but we've had these for about three years now, and they really do cut the mustard, so they say. Okay, they are 100% full of waterproof. Um, three massive pockets here with a zip, fully adjustable strap up here, which is easy to use um, and they come with a nice blue food pouch that you can stick in the dishwasher and all that good stuff keep it clean because no one likes to put their hand in there pull out a load of minging chicks Brr, gross um, these are 100% Cordora Cordora that's right Cordora yeah you know that waterproof material that no one can ever say okay um, they are waterproof um, Really nice, high quality stitching on here as well. Um, big D-ring, which is always nice. Heavy duty clips. Uh, the bags come in black and olive green, I think that color is. Um, both of them really, really good. Uh, these are kind of like our go-to bags now for, you know, down at the center doing, you know, when people come on for Hawk experiences um, and the pest control company and stuff as well, because they're pretty indestructible. Um, I know you can get the cheap ones for like 20, 30 quid, but I mean, they only last about a season um, before they fall into bits, especially when you use them as much as like a professional falconer does like when you're working in a pest control company or in a center environment. Really nice, strong Velcro um, down there. And is there a, a lid there? Yeah, I, I thought I'd lost it. I thought I'm sure there was a lid. Um, the button has come off this one now, um, but this one has been battered. The green one, it still works um, absolutely fine. Two nice D-rings there for putting um, your Jesse's through, that's the one. And a real big game pouch here. Um, even for one this size, you know, it's definitely big enough to put in um, like a hare, pheasant, a few little bunny rabbits, whatever it is you're after, or you know, just some sandwiches if you want a vegetarian type falconers. Um, again, another massive pouch here for all your lures, knives, other equipment, and then even more storage there. I don't know quite what you put in there, but more stuff. And then your actual game pouch at the front for all your chicks and little bits of meat and everything. Okay, now we've had these, both of these for three seasons now and we just use them put them in through the washing machine they wash ever so well um, like I said this one still is nearly as good as when we bought a bit of fraying around the side but considering how much they get used um, not bad at all really really impressed with them and also they, they have got a clip that goes all the way around um, this one actually didn't sell for me so I'm too fat for it to go all the way around um, but that is nice, it holds it nicely in position. Now, he does do the big vests and stuff as well. Um, we will, probably will be doing a review on them later on down the line. But to tell you the truth, after going out doing falconry as much as we do, we tend to go for the smaller bags now. They're just a little less cumbersome to carry around. You can chuck them back around, you take them off very easy if you have to. Um, the big, big vests are really good, don't get me wrong. Um, still really well made, like all of his stuff. Um, but me, as a personal preference, I tend to prefer the smaller ones, um, just for every everyday use. Just chuck them in the back of the van and away we go. Um, we do put these through their paces, definitely. Uh, nothing's broken, nothing's worn out. I wouldn't think, oh my God, they're not worth the money, because they are, guys. Um, so really, if you're, if you're wanting to start falconry, um, this is sort of a good starting place if you want a bag. I know 85 quid, you think, oh, that's a lot of money for a bag, but 
hey, nothing in this world is cheap these days and you don't mind paying for quality. They are 100% British made as well. I'm sure that he oversees all of them as well. I don't know if that is true, but that's what it says, which is nice, nice to think that, isn't it? Um, yeah, what else is there to say? All the zips and that still work very well. Um, very nice design, lightweight, like I say, you can take it off. Um, it's got an emergency clip there, you know, if you have to take it off even quicker. They pack down incredibly small as well. So, you know, a few pest control guys. Um, I do believe he does it even in the vest one, a high vis one as well. But yeah, very nice, you can pack them, pack them down if you're going away to do a show or something like that. They take up no room whatsoever. Um, and like I say, Stick them all in the, uh, the washing machine when they get muddy and stuff as well. So if you're looking for a versatile, small, lightweight bag, which will still hold everything, um, that, you know, especially down at the center, if a lot of people are gonna be using it, I would definitely recommend these guys. Um, we've used them, like I say, these are, I think both of these are three, if not four years old now. Um, and now they're our just go-to ones that we, that we use. And if you look after them, they'll last you ages and ages. Um, I'll leave a link below. I think I got these from Forbes Falkery. Hit up Graham over there, he's a top bloke. He'll sort you out and give you any information you want on him. Um, I'll give you some close-ups and show you how they all are. They are held together in here with Velcro. And uh, the food pouches as well do, do come with Velcro on the back. So when they actually go in there, if you climb it over something, that isn't gonna fall out. And look, all the Velcro, even years down the line, still holds up very well. Like I say, the only thing that's gone on this one is the button, um, but this one has been battered. And I, I seem to remember it actually got caught on a bit of barbed wire and actually ripped off anyway. So it wasn't like it's a, you know his, his fault or anything. It was mine or whoever was wearing this, I'm sure. I'll probably get the blame for it. Um, yeah, nice big heavy duty clip, so it all comes to bits um, as well. Yeah, good product guys, good product. Um, all made in England, and that's the green one. Um, I'll do some close-ups of these. Um, so if you are looking for a, a good quality bag that's gonna last you, I mean, if you're just hunting over the hunting season, this should last you easy four or five years. I've never had any problems with these at all. Um, and I've even used to use the big vests and stuff as well. So I hope you all enjoyed that review. If you are looking to get a new bag, Definitely check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, please subscribe and share all the hunting videos that we've got on the channel and all the other uh, training the hawks and the falcon videos and that around as well. Um, and we'll see you again probably next week for another equipment review. Cheers, guys. Have a great hunting season.